What's up guys, Hawkcrafter here again. In today's video is another guide, it's a guide to mission 3 of uh, the Phantom Pain. We're going to be covering the S rank and all tasks completed and we're going to come out of it with the Foxhound code name. To begin, deploy here. So for this level we're going to be doing a little, little bit of a uh, long range sniping. So it's preferable that you have a sniper rifle, a non-lethal one preferably, with a silencer. Certainly for my strategy you're going to need a silencer. Just as soon as the animation ends, we get control of the boss, we do a weapons check, check that we have the rifle equipped, and check that the silencer is attached, and then we'll just chamber around on all of our weapons. Very good habit to always do that. So if you get into a firefight and get killed, it won't be for lack of shooting back. Everything is in place, make sure the sniper rifle is the first thing that comes to hand when you press aim. And as we reach deployment, you'll see that I brought the body D horse. Alternatively, you could just have a vehicle dropped in, but for the purposes of this video, let's use the horse. As soon as you mount, make a hard left and look for the valley below you. You want to make your way down there. And if for newer players, the area I'm zooming now, that's where you'll find D Dog when you first reach mission 3. So off we go, I get the strategy underway. Once you're down in the ravine, going to use the line of the rocks on your right as your guidance and follow them. Keep following them as long as the rocky features are on your right. And as you come over the tip of the hill, you're going to see it kind of a desert area in front of you. You're now going to make your way down there. Just be aware there is a guard post to the left. Have a quick glance, make sure no one sees you, but there shouldn't be anyone there. And as you make your way down the slope into the desert, you'll see a large boulder jutting out of the sand. Pass to the right of that. Just in front of you, you'll see another one. Pass immediately to the left of that. And now in front of you, you'll see a large rock formation. You want to make your way up to the sand dune at the very left hand side of it. And here you'll find the hay on the plant. The first bonus mission is to pick that up, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then half back in the horse. Now if you turn the camera exactly to the right of where the plant was, you'll see a large tall rock formation with two trees at the base of it. Make your way towards that, that's where you need to go next. Across the desert, just use the tree as a landmark if you want, and that will be the right direction. And as you come over the brow of this hill, you're going to see the enemy base, a stone distance. And on your immediate left, you see two large rocks. You're going to make your way in between those rocks. Before doing so, you can stop and grab that rough diamond if you want. It makes no difference to the strategy. And once you're in between the rocks, dismount. Go to the rock closest to the base, hop up, and look for this flat platform. That's going to be our sniping spot. Oh, we just have to look around, we'll find four boys having a meeting in the courtyard outside the base. Wait till you can see his face to get confirmation. And also ID him by the fact that he's wearing a red beret, all the commanders and leaders always do. And now just look through your scope. Now one of the bonus tasks is to shoot him from 200 or 100 meters or more. This is about 170. When the meeting ends, he's going to come up here, he'll either go through the door or over by the canopy. The door is the easiest shot because it's so straight you only have to allow for the height for the bullet drop. This shot is slightly trickier. You have to aim not only high but also lead your shot for his movement. Just remember you're going to shoot him where he's going to be, not where he is. If you're making the door shot, get him before he opens the door or he'll fall forward, make a racket with the door and that guy will come down and check what's wrong. He'll wake him up and the whole base will go on alert. You don't want that. Now if you're using a lethal weapon and you don't care about it, getting all the tasks done, Go ahead and blow his brains out now and call your helicopter and get the S rank. But for now I want to give you a tip while the meeting takes place. If you press the action button while looking through the binos, you bring up the air support menu. That will let you pinpoint an airstrike much more accurately than the iDrive menu does. Just remember if you're going for S ranks, you can't because you'll be limited to the rank listed beside the name of the airstrike. So don't do that. Oh, it looks like we still have some more time so I want to talk about combat deployment. Don't want to think of these as just a way to get GMP, they're much more important than that. If you scroll down you'll see that the ones at the bottom have an icon beside them, helmets, guns, cameras, various things. Now the purpose of this is for, I'll give an example, if you're doing a lot of headshots and the enemy start wearing helmets, complete the deployment mission with the helmet icon and you'll cut off the enemy supply of helmets and from that point on, less of the enemies you encounter will be wearing helmets. It only lasts for a limited time, but you can always do it again later. 
So have a look at the description of each one and then do the one that applies to what you're seeing in game. And it seems like we still have another bit of time so one final tip is have a good scan whenever you're infiltrating a place. And I don't mean for marking the enemy, everyone knows that already. I mean for the points. Each scan is worth 30 points. So have a good look around. The more you scan, the more they'll add up. The virism. But just don't forget to keep an eye on the target. Don't lose track of them. You can even scan birds in the sky. It's an easy 60 points there now for the two of them. If you're looking around, make sure you get everything. But again, don't lose track of the target. Oh, I think the meeting's going to end soon, so we're going to get ready. Bring up your crosshair, keep it on him. Another opportunity to blow his brains out if you're using a legal weapon, whatever you want. So here he goes, off up the stairs. Don't do anything drastic. Let him get up to the top and see what he does. Now in this case, it looks like he's going through the door. So we're going to aim slightly above him, just aim at the tip of his hat and you'll hit him in the centre of the skull. And now he's down. The next thing you're going to want to do, take out this entry, patrolling the roof of the building, just in front of your position. At this range you can just aim straight at his head, no need to lead or no need to uh, aim high, there won't be any bullet drop at this range. Just put him down. You could have done that while you were waiting, but just don't do it too soon or he'll wake up and you'll have to do it again, or he'll call in uh, alert. And now once they're both down, make your way into the base. As you start coming out in the open, turn the camera around, just in case you miss something with your marking, you want to get caught now, the hardest part is done. Just keep making your way in. Come to the road, be extra vigilant with your care for safety. Definitely no one around, there you go. Sprint in, but once you come to the stairs, slow it down. You don't want to alert the guy up there. Once you're up safely, go ahead and pick up the commander. Got him, you're going to make your way back out the way you just came in, exactly the same way. Take your time on the stairs, don't alert the guy, and once you're down, you can sprint. Now you're going to look for a wall on the right, head over to there and go around the outside of the wall. Once you get there, start calling your horse. Now you could also Fulton him from this place if you want and you'll get away with it. But I personally like to use helicopter extraction whenever possible. It's more immersive, I like it. But you go ahead and do whatever you want. So once he's on, you can uh, make your way towards uh, the LZ. You're going to choose the one at the most left of the map. There it is. You now you have your marker as well where you're going. You're going to head towards that. I'm going to pan the camera now to show you. We're well clear of the base. Nobody's going to see us. So all we have left to do now on the map is collect the process materials as our bonus task. If I pan the camera here, you'll see two guys. You have to be careful of them. They're the last two enemies we have to worry about. I find it handier to just leave the horse here because if you want to make any noise as I just said. Leave him here and head over under the bridge. Again, move slowly. Hear the helicopter coming so we'll be getting out of here soon. Once you're under the bridge, take an immediate right, another right, and you'll find the process material. Head back over to your horse, don't worry about making noise, we're getting out of here anyway. Now all we've left to do is, the two, the main objective is to eliminate him because he's not dead, he has to be removed from the map, that'll complete that, and the bonus task is also to extract him, killing two birds with one stone, once you're near the helicopter, it's monk, use the interact button to take him down off the horse, and now make your way over to the helicopter, and just use the action button to throw him in and climb in behind him. There you go, your next S rank, all tasks completed. Fox home code name. See you later, horse. Now we're out the gap. this video and for the next video I've composed a showcase strategy a personal strategy of mine it's a support weapons exposition on mission 4 so you can look forward to watching that if you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful go ahead and hit the thumbs up button I appreciate that every time
So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.